Shin Iii's secret only makes life harder for Se Bong, who desperately wishes she could just forget what she knows and go back to her life. She's torn between shock and the fact that everywhere she goes, he's there, smiling that endearing cinnamon roll smile at her. What can she do when she just wants to wallow in her bad mood, but she can't shake the fluffy android puppy that seems determined to win her over? Oh well, if you can't beat EM, join EM. Episode 9 recap So Bong thinks about how Shin went from a guy who hit her in public to someone who hugged her when she cried and saved her life, and how he said that he doesn't have a heart or emotions. She thought it was strange but she never expected to learn that he wasn't even human. After he stopped the driverless M car's wild behavior, So Bong had been frantic with worry, until she saw the damage to Nam Shin 3. His android insides had shown through where his human-like skin had been torn away, and she'd backed away, falling and screaming at him not to come closer. Ro Ra drives up to them, and So Bong tries to run off, but Ro Ra sends Nam Shin 3 to catch her. He tosses her over his shoulder with a cheerful grin and takes her to Ro Ra's car, and Ro Ra drives away. The paparazzi are busy shouting questions at Chairman Nam, asking if the M-Car project will be scrapped. He refuses to answer and leaves in his limo, leaving Jong Gil, who masterminded the M-Car's hacking, grinning like the Cheshire Cat. Nam Shin 3 holds So Bong's wrist so she can't jump out of the car while he politely introduces himself. She screams that she doesn't care, but Ro Ra says she'll explain soon, instructing Nam Shin 3 not to let So Bong go. So Bong spots Nam Shin Iii's metal insides again and mutters that it's disgusting. When they arrive at Ro Ra's hideout, So Bong cries that Nam Shin 3 is hurting her and he lets go. She tries to run again, only to be cut off by Young Hoon. Inside, Ro Ra fixes the damage to Nam Shin 3 while he apologizes for getting caught by So Bong. In another room, Young Hoon plays So Bong a recording of reporter Joe confessing that So Bong is working for Jong Gil. He tells So Bong not to be angry at her friend, and she asks if he's threatening her now. She admits that Jong Gil hired her, but says she had no idea they were hiding something so huge. Young Hoon bluntly asks her not to tell Jong Gil what she knows, and to work for them instead. He offers to pay her whatever she wants if she'll help them hide Nam Shin Iii's identity, but she's still upset and asks where the real Nam Shin is. She complains that she can't believe any of this, but Ro Ra comes in and drags So Bong to Shin's room, where he's still lying in a coma. She tells So Bong that he's her real son, and that he was hit by a truck right in front of her. She says that she believes Jong Gil may have staged that accident and the one today. Ro Ra insists that Shin will wake up, and she begs So Bong to help them until that happens. So Bong asks how she could help, and Young Hoon says she can keep Jong Gil from finding out the truth. At the same time, Jong Gil calls So Bong, and Nam Shin 3 comes in and looks at her innocently. She answers, and agrees to meet with him now. When she hangs up, Young Hoon tells her that Jong Gil is a danger to Shin. She asks if they'll make Nam Shin 3 kill her if she goes, but Ro Ra stops her and sinks to her knees. She offers So Bong anything, even her own body, to help her and Shin. Nam Shin 3 walks to Ro Ra and hugs her because she's crying. So Bong, confused and distraught, leaves the house with Young Hoon on her heels. She yells that they're all crazy, but Young Hoon says that Shin is what matters the most to them. Nam Shin 3 joins them, and So Bong shrieks that nobody would believe her if she told the truth, asking why they'd trust her just because she took their money. Young Hoon grabs her arm and snarls that a person's life is at stake. So Bong glares at him and Nam Shin 3 in turn, then says she'll pretend she didn't see a robot. She tells Young Hoon to follow her if he doesn't trust her, and that he'll have to take that risk eventually, anyway. Toadie tells Jong Gil that he's been asked to do a TV interview about the M car's test drive, and he says he'll do it after meeting with So Bong. He instructs Toadie to leak information about Shin to the press, painting him as a greedy brat with no experience. Young Hoon and Nam Shin 3 ride with So Bong to her meeting, and Young Hoon begs her one last time before she goes to speak with Jong Gil. She says sarcastically that they're making her feel important, and tells them to wait for her. Jong Gil makes a half-hearted attempt to seem worried about Shin, and he asks So Bong what happened during the test drive. She tells him.